Hello and welcome to Practical Caravan. Today we're setting something a little bit different. Is it a Torah? Is it a static? No, it's a Bailey retreat. Caravan habits are definitely changing. Caravanners are finding that the expense of towing caravans every time you travel, and not to mention the hassle, is a bit much. And that's where the idea of a seasonal caravan comes in. You rent one pitch for the year, put your van there once, and return to it at the weekends without the hassle of towing. The Bailey Retreat is designed with this express intention. You go there when you want to, without the hassle of moving your car and your caravan and your kids every time you go. So freed from the idea of having to tow your caravan anywhere, you get a few things you can play around with design-wise. One of them's the width. This caravan is 2.5 meters wide, which is much wider than a standard British caravan, the widest of which is around the 2.3 meter mark. The other thing is the length. This caravan is very nearly eight meters long, and that means it is too big to be towed by a conventional car. This needs to be moved by a truck. So what does that extra size mean in practice? Well, it's very evident here in the front lounge, we've got space to burn. This room in here for six people to sit comfortably. There's a television space dedicated over there and everyone can see it. It feels like a cross between a static and a touring caravan. It's got very much the feel of a tourer with the roof lockers and the lighting, but the space is not something you can get in any ordinary touring caravan. Now here's something you haven't seen in a British touring caravan before. We've got a separate dining area, more of a breakfast bar than anything else really. Seating over there for three and two pull out stools here that rotate very chic. <clears throat> over this side we've got an enormous kitchen, really well equipped, absolutely enormous fridge freezer, proper domestic style appliances and masses and masses of storage. Not much at all that you could find fault with in here, but this is where the extra width of the van really comes into its own. These aren't things you can fit in a normal width caravan and this really shows off what you get with that extra space. Bailey's opted for a centre washroom in this model. On this side here we've got the ceramic bowl toilet. That's heavier than the standard plastic bowl models but weight's not really an issue in here. It's not designed to be towed. We've got the butler sink as they fit in some of their more upmarket touring models. A bit of storage, a very nice area. On this side we've got a separate shower cubicle with a sliding door. Feels very nice and again plenty of room very spacious. This door shuts across the walkway to give you complete privacy from the front of the van and there's a sliding unit here as well to cut you off from the bed area. This is a much more spacious and usable area than you might expect. Works really really well. This prototype model of retreat has got a fixed island bed in the centre of the van for complete comfort. There's good storage on either side and there's a dedicated TV point here as well. There's also a dedicated CD mp3 player in the back of the van so you can have different music or radio at the front to the rear gives you an idea of the scale of this van all in all this is a very comfortable area very reminiscent of that you'll find in the island bed unicorns but obviously with that extra body width providing a little more comfort so what do we think of the bailey retreat project then this isn't a finished van and there's still some tweaks to be made but there's definitely something in this idea of a dedicated seasonal pitch van. Making it over width and over length means you get a real advantage and a lot of flexibility in the layout. But this isn't for everyone. If you're someone who's dedicated to the touring lifestyle and enjoys going different places every weekend, don't bother looking at this, it isn't for you. But if you tend to go to the same places week after week and don't enjoy the hassle of towing but do love caravanning, this is a very interesting prospect indeed.